Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so today what I'm going to do is uh, I made the drawer that fits into this drawer pocket here. And um, now all that's left to do is to just uh, hand plane it down a little bit to get it to fit in. But before I do that, I want to show you all some of the things that I did are uh, one or two of the things that I did as I was making the drawer to make it easier to fit at this stage. And I'm going to take the phone while you get to look at my hand. Uh, and so one thing I did, if you look, you can see that the drawer front is a little bit taller than the sides. And uh, when I made the drawer initially, they were the same height. Then I cut the tails, transferred them to the drawer front and the drawer back. And after that was done, uh, and after I fit everything, before I assembled it, I just went to the table saw and ripped off a tiny little amount. And now before I really get, I'm going to hand plane this down back here uh, so that the sides and the back are all in the same plane. And the reason to do that is that uh, after it's done, the drawer back and the drawer sides are completely taken out of the fitting equation when it comes to their height. And all you have to do is hand plane down the sides. Um, the drawer front if you recall from part one, uh, is already fit fairly well. It's gonna need a little bit of planing to length, and that's why you know you leave it tight when you make it, before you make the drawer, so that you have some uh, room to hand plane it down and dial in that fit just right. Uh, so most of what's left to do at this stage is really just hand planing the sides until the drawer uh, uh, moves in and out smoothly. Now, one more note about construction before we uh, jump into the final fitting. After the drawer front was fit and uh, I had it where I wanted it, and before I started cutting any joinery, I made the back to be the exact same shape as the drawer front. So in other words, if there was a slight angle on the end here, at the front, it's the same slight taper on the back or angle on the back. Um, I also, when I cut the grooves, the, the drawer back is the same height as the sides. And then I cut the grooves and all in, the, in all four pieces. And after I have cut my tails and transferred them and, and when I'm about to start fitting the pins, that's when I cut the back short. And the back is cut short so that you can slide the drawer bottom in after construction. That allows the drawer bottom to expand, expand and contract out the back of the drawer. Uh, and you don't have to worry about the drawer bottom blowing the uh, do drawer apart or just getting it stuck in the pocket. Um, so those are just some things about construction that help with the fitting. Uh, one, make the drawer back identical to the drawer front. That way the box, uh, the drawer box itself uh, comes out shaped properly. Uh, even if there's a slight taper, it's gonna be the same at the front and the back, and that's what you want. Um, and then the sides and the back end up being a little bit shorter than the front, and that just means you don't have to fit that part when it is time to do the fitting like it is now. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to hand plane that drawer back down flush with the sides. And I hope, there's my tool rack, uh, that I can show you all this. So well, I know I can show it. Sorry about that. Um, I really do need a cameraman. All right. 
This is really going to be hard to see. I'll move down the bench a little bit so that you can see it. You want to make sure you plane in the direction of the grain. Um, you always want to hold whatever it is you're working on in some fashion. Uh, this is big enough and, and easy enough for me just to hold with my body and my hands, so I'm not going to worry about working against a stop or anything. This does put a fair amount of racking pressure on a drawer, so if you have a small drawer, you can't really do this. You'd want to have uh, something here that you're working against so that the drawer doesn't rack uh, as you're hand planing and you won't uh, blow the joints apart. kidding about hard maple it really is hard um, just trying to get these shavings out this little plane has a 60 degree bedding angle so it kind of gives you these accordion style shavings often flush yet but it's far enough down that I can move on with the fitting and I'll come back well I'm not, I can't do that I gotta get it here now here in a minute to show you the next step. Uh, so when I made the drawer, the uh, sides are a little proud of the end grain on the drawer front and the drawer back. And that allows me to <clears throat> hand plane them down and clean them up after assembly and uh, also ensures that in order to clean it up, I'm not inadvertently shortening the length of the drawer front too much and that would of course affect the fit of the drawer because the drawer front is already more or less dialed in. It shouldn't take me more than 10 minutes or so to get this drawer fitted. Uh, <clears throat> at least I say that now right? I hope, that, I hope it goes that well. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is put the drawer in my uh, bench vise and then hand plane it and I'll be testing to see how it fits in the drawer pocket after I've uh, done the two sides down flush to the end grain. We'll see how it fits. I like to put uh, some type of support underneath the drawer side as I'm hand planing it. So I have this piece of plywood and it's gonna go in like this. And then this drops down into my vise and the drawer side now has support under it and it won't bow 
underneath the pressure of the hand plane. I'm going to move the camera now so that y'all can see this. And like my towel over there, I did sharpening this morning and the towel goes underneath everything on my bench to keep my bench from getting wet. All right. So you can see now the setup, bench, bench vise, piece of plywood underneath the drawer side so that it doesn't flex. And like I said, I did, uh, I sharpened two planes this morning. Uh, I would normally do this, especially if I, I have five drawers here to fit. So I would uh, sharpen some hand planes. Now, the two that I sharpened are number four, and that's the one I'm gonna start with uh, it's the one I use the most often, but this is a uh, quarter sawn hard maple and it's a little figured as well. So I thought that there's a chance that some of this will tear out. And if it does, then I have my four and a half, which has a higher angle frog. It is a uh, 50 degree frog. And if for some reason light shavings with a sharp number four it doesn't work, I'll go to light shavings with a four and a half and that should uh, prevent any tear out. Um, all right, so I'm planing from the front to the back. Uh, and the, when, I lay out, when I lay out the sides, I make sure that the grain on this face runs in that direction so that I'm planing with the grain as I plane the sides down to the end grain on the drawer front. So far, I'm not getting any tear out, which is good. Um, not quite down all the way yet. Almost there. At least at the front. So that side is initially, now it's all flush with the ingrain at the front and the back, where we want to start. Pour out, turn it over.
All right. This side, this guy is sagging a little bit. So the drawer bottom is a little, I mean the drawer side is not quite touching the plywood over here. And so every time I go past it, it, you know, it, it uh, sags underneath the pressure and so it's not planing. And just putting the ruler underneath it changed that instantly. And now I'm hitting the, the spot where I wasn't hitting before. the front and back is It's um, the drawers all playing down now. We'll rotate the camera and hopefully you can see this. So there's the case. Let's see if this fits. Better, right? I've been talking a big game. So the back, it's a little tight at the back. Yeah. 
can see it's a little tight at the top of the back. So uh, I'm going to throw this back in the vise real quick and uh, hand plane down both sides. So it was at the top, which is where it was binding, sort of catching. If you remember that, I mean, it's not surprising because the drawer front in its length was pretty much dead on. And um, so it's not surprising that it would be a little tight at this stage of things. All right, so put it down there. Take it down up here. over. Let's see. That's better. Um, now one thing about you always want to make sure there's no glue if you're at a joint like a corner joint like this. Make sure there's no squeeze out in there that the drawer might be catching on. Other thing that is always instructive is to look at the drawer from the back of the case and you can sort of see where it might be um, see where it might be catching so let's do that now um, so you can see on this side you see how there's that gap there so that's okay but it's really tight over here. So what I need to do, if I'm gonna hand plane this, what I need to do is just hand plane this side and not mess with that side. All right, you can see that at the top, there's that gap at the top, which is good, that's what we want. But it's good, so it's really hitting on this side. This is why I never put a case back into a case before I fit the drawers. And if we look over here, uh, this will be hard to see, but there's definitely a little bit of a gap there. And over here, there's a little bit of a gap up top, but it's really tight down here. So I'm gonna work on this side some more. Uh, you know, take a couple of passes and hopefully that gets us through. But if it doesn't, you just take some more shavings. That does take patience. sit down on that plywood.
All right, let's give that another go. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit of a web frame problem I'll have to get in there and fix. Yeah, so let me pull the camera. So that didn't take too long to get this in. Now, it's still uh, not quite ready to go all the way in. There's gonna need to be, you can see down here uh, that it's sitting up off the web frame. And that's because this piece here seems to be a little bit too high on the inside. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to get in there and plane that down a little bit. Uh, or sand it down. And once that drops down, this should slide in really well. It is still a little too tight, uh, but this side is fine over here uh, for now. Uh, this side is still a little too tight, so I will have to uh, plane that down a little bit more, and I can do that. Uh, so you can feel it's just a little, it's too tight right now for sure. Uh, especially for this time of the year. It's not too humid yet in Connecticut. Um, it's going to get more humid in the summer. So that's uh, way too tight, really. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of work to get that. This is the process. You just fit it, go back, fit it, go back until it slides in and out smoothly. I guess I'll just keep going if, you know... There's only 20 people watching. I'm not really sure why anybody would really want to watch this right now. That's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it is uh, informative, at least. So, yeah. Shoot. Um, all right, so I'm going to hit this side a few more passes. And I saved the back for last because uh, it doesn't really, it does not affect the fit of the drawer at all. As long as, you know, it fits in the pocket in terms of its length and its height, and it does. try. All right, let's see how this goes. Still, the side over here is really what's causing the problems. Uh, well, 
I said 10 minutes, it's going to turn out to be a little bit longer than that. But that's what happens sometimes. Oops. It's really getting close. So I'm just gonna do a little more planing back and forth. Still, just a little bit of resistance as it goes in and out. And it kind of, this is, like right now I want to go, I'm going to go around to the back. But still I can see it, just that one side is still the one that's getting caught. So I'm just going to hit that side again a few more times. And that should hopefully make us right. Uh, the drawers, uh, you know, it's really small, delicate things. And the drawer sides might only be a quarter inch thick. And so you have to really get the drawer as close to possible as you can before you start the fitting process because if you hand plane a lot off one side, the things like the, the material on the back of the groove, you know, on the outside here gets to be really thin and then you have to worry about breaking. Um, so I developed this process, you know, learning from other people and through the years making really small stuff so that the drawers would fit almost as soon as I took them out of the clamps. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Do this. Just 
something here in the middle of the drawer that's catching. So let's go around to the back of the cabinet and see if we can't figure that out. Ah, oh, that's stupid. There's just a little lip on that web frame. Alright, so I'm going to walk around to the back of the cabinet. Let's see if we can't. Now I'm looking here, but also looking up here. Because you know, you want to look for wood on wood contact. So I'm looking for places where it might be dragging. And you know, this side, you know, inside the cabinet looks fine. It's not dragging anywhere along the top. If I come over here. Oops. It's probably this side. You can see it's hitting. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just. The problem is the web frame now. Uh, no, there's no shiny spot on the sides. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. This web frame has turned out to be a problem. Huh. Um, so I'm going to have to do that. But uh, I do think that will, because if you look underneath here, see right up here, and then right there. There's just two little spots. And I should be able to get in there with a block plane. Um... And I'm going to try to knock those down. Let's, I'm not sure if uh, y'all will be able to see that or not. Um, mostly because I... Got the chisel and Yeah, I mean, you could put a pencil and all that stuff on there to check things out, but I mean, if I was really having trouble determining where it was, I might turn to something like that, but right now I'm not having that kind of trouble identifying where the problem is. I will probably eventually put a ruler in there to see if that's level. So now it's sliding more like a drawer should be. It's not getting bound on, you know, caught on anything. It's just a little tight still. And even just sliding it back in and out is making it easier. So that tells me it's uh, really, really close. And I actually do see a spot like right there. Uh, it's getting burnished. So. I'm going to hit that with the plane real quick. 
I don't see a burnished spot over here, but I do see one right there. So let me move this back. Um, we are done with the uh, pandemic. Everything is returned to a semblance of normalcy. Hopefully improved upon what it was. I will have Joe over here or somebody to do the camera for me. Okay. That's now, it's a little tight still. What I would do at this point <sighs> it really is, it's just the off the top here and a little bit more on this other side. I never thought I'd find myself fitting a drawer for 23 people. Who are somewhere out in the world. So it's still just a little bit of a drag. I think the point comes across, right? One thing you want to be careful is as you're doing this, the closer and closer you get uh, to the fit, uh, the more judicious you have to be about where you're removing material from. Because if you're just, if you keep removing material from the entire side, you might end up making it uh, sloppy in the back where it fit, <clears throat> excuse me, fit really well before. Um, and uh, you don't want that. So. 
Yeah, I'm just going to hit right down the middle of this side again. So that's pretty good. There's still a little bit work. So what, the last thing after I get these sides here, there are tracks on them from the hand plane. And so this is going to get sanded. And uh, this side will get sanded as well. And that will affect the fit even more. So I'd probably leave off at this point. drawer front just needs a little more fine-tuning. If you recall, the drawer front was tight. Um, intentionally, uh, the drawer front was intentionally left a little bit tight uh, the other day so that uh, there would be an opportunity to uh, fine-tune it at this stage. Um, so anyways, uh, tomorrow on my Instagram, uh, I'm sure there'll be a photograph of the drawer front in, uh, but I don't know if there's really anything else I can tell you at this point, uh, or show you at this point besides this is the process. Uh, once you get the drawer made the way that I made it, it's just a matter of slowly testing the fit, looking to see where it is rubbing or where it's getting, you know, where it's dragging on the case. Pulling it out, hitting those spots with a hand plane, and testing it again. Uh, yeah, someone is recommending putting blue tape on either side. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you do, that's fine. That's I, I don't do that. Um, so, uh, where I live, blue tape on either side would probably be a little too loose uh, of a fit. Um, so, uh, this is, uh, by the time I go back and touch up the front, it'll be fine and, uh, it won't bind in the summer and it won't be too loose in the winter. Um, of course, if you live in a climate that's different than mine, say in Colorado, where it's very dry most of the year, then, uh, you can go for a tighter fit. Uh, because you don't have to worry about it ever getting super humid and the drawer binding, which is something I have to worry about in the summertime because my house is not air conditioned and it can get fairly humid uh, in this part of the country. Not like it's humid in the south where I grew up, but uh, something like that. Uh, anyways, the folks up here complain about it, but they don't really understand what humidity is. Uh, anyways, Thanks for checking it out. Uh, remember to subscribe if you're not already and you know check out my Instagram if you're not checking that out already, which is at MEK Woodworks. And I will do another live stream sometime soon. I just gotta figure out what is gonna be next. Um, I do wanna get all the drawers made before I move on to anything else. Uh, the next thing that I would do is uh, make the interior lining for the cabinet side. 
I don't know if there's really anything there to learn from uh, or that, uh, that would be all that interesting. But anyways, I'll figure it out. I'll let you all know. Uh, enjoy your day and uh, stay healthy.